Okay guys, now this is a log that has caused me a lot of grief actually. It's, uh, I've seen a couple of these being picked, um, i.e. probably from Bosnian Bill and Lockpick and Lawyer, where they've just used a normal sort of uh, disc detainer uh, pick and they've managed to get it open. Now I've had way too many attempts at this. Um, and then I look at the bitting. And I think the reason why I can't pick it with a normal disc detainer pick is um, this first disc here is actually, as you can see, probably a number two or number three cut. So of course, as I'm tensioning off that, I'm over tensioning everything. And then of course it um, unsettles the rest of the disc and I can't find any feedback from the rest of the discs. Um, and then I've switched to um, the uh, silver bullet. Um, and of course, so this is rear tensioning, and uh, yeah, I've had a bit more success with it actually. But all in all, it's a really good little padlock actually. Um, I think it's got a 14 mil shackle in there as well, so a real heavyweight. Um, yeah, 14 mil shackle, and as you can see by the uh, the sort of grooves in the side there, we've got double locking in there as well. Obviously, with these two uh, locking lugs there. Um, so yeah, all in all, not a bad little padlock actually. And uh, for the money, I think they run at about 20 pound or something. And it's got the uh, solid secure uh, to 2017 silver award there. And to be honest with you, I can completely understand why. It is a real heavyweight little padlock here, uh, nice and compact. And uh, yeah, you're definitely not getting in there. And uh, because you need a specialized uh, bottom tensioning tool, um, you're definitely not gonna be picking this on the street. Um, so all in all, not a bad little padlock actually. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll get it in the vise and uh, we'll see if we can pick it open. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got the Oxford HD Mini there in the vise. And of course we'll rotate all the discs clockwise as far as we're going. And of course we'll uh, go in with a 3D printed silver bullet. Okay, so tension off of disc number six. We're looking for disc number five. We'll start picking off five. Okay, nothing out of five. Four, a little click out of four. Maybe we'll click out of three. Nothing out of two. A little click out of one. Just going back through. Nothing out of two. Just jump past three there. Nice little click out of three there. Go on to four. Okay, four, and we are open for four. That's not too bad, actually, but I'll tell you, I've had a real battle with this lock. Um, as I said, I did actually try to um, pick it with the um, normal top uh, disc detainer uh, picks, but obviously I uh, didn't get anywhere with it. Uh, it's got a sprung-loaded um, uh, locking mechanism, so I've actually got to uh, get a, uh, a pick in there just to rotate the core back before I can actually get the uh, tensioning part of this lock out. But all in all, a very, very tricky lock, and I can see why this got the uh, silver award. Listen guys, hope you enjoyed that and of course I'll be catching up with you very shortly with another log. Take care guys.